San Francisco has a new city attorney. After 20 years, Dennis Herrera is leaving his post and state assemblyman David Chu will take his place. I hope to use this office to continue to stand up and protect our collective civil rights. David Chu, now the first Asian American to serve as San Francisco city attorney. Good evening. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Andre Senior. And for Frank, we begin with the man filling the role of Dennis Herrera, who has been selected to head up the city's troubled Public Utilities Commission. Live coverage now from KTV's Amber Lee in the city. And Amber, this is a return to City Hall for Chu. Andre, for the state assemblyman, returning to San Francisco City Hall is like coming home. He started his political career here 13 years ago as a supervisor. I've been so grateful and humbled that uh, at this opportunity to serve. State and, Assemblyman and David Chu, a Democrat, will be the first Asian American to hold the office of San Francisco City Attorney. I have wanted to be in the fight for justice, uh, however that takes form. The 51-year-old served seven years in the State Assembly. I've passed groundbreaking laws uh, when it comes to immigrant workers and the woman's right to choose uh, in expanding our LGBTQ rights. In 2008, San Franciscans elected Chu to the Board of Supervisors, where he became president of the board, the first Asian American to hold that position. He tells me he brings a track record of expanding civil rights to the city attorney's office, a position that advises the city on a wide variety of legal issues. When Donald Trump came after San Francisco for being a sanctuary city, when Mayor London Breed needed legal advice on how to protect us against a new virus called COVID-19, this is all the work of the San Francisco City Attorney's Office. Chu is a Harvard-educated lawyer and the son of immigrant parents from Taiwan. Mom and dad wanted me to be a doctor. But during his freshman year in college, a turning point. He describes a hate incident at a nearby school where football players spat on Asian students and used racial slurs. An incredibly impactful moment for me. Um, I was so upset those students could have been me. From student activists to the next city attorney, candidates who plan to run for Chu's assembly seat include San Francisco Supervisor Matt Haney and former Supervisor David Campos, who is currently serving as District Attorney Chesa Boudin's chief of staff. Chu tells me he isn't endorsing any candidate at this time. He says his focus will be on serving the public. I want to make sure that the work of the San Francisco City Attorney's Office is relevant to how we help people. How do you use the law to really address the issues of the day? Chu is a husband and father to a young son. He will likely be sworn in November 1st. Next year, voters will have the chance to decide whether Chu stays in office. The City Attorney's Office has no term limits. Andre? A historic appointment, to be sure. All right, thank you, Amber Lee, reporting for us live in front of City Hall in San Francisco. Meantime,